Today, we're back with another community member gameplay review. Now, real quick before we jump in here, this is something that I really want to start doing more often. I want to break down your gameplay, especially as we're heading into Warzone 2, because I think it's beneficial for everybody out there. The most important thing with that is I need you guys to submit gameplay. So I don't care if you're a 0.5 or a 5 KD player. If you want the opportunity to have your gameplay reviewed, make sure you check the pinned comment down below. There's a link to join my Discord there, as well as instructions on how to submit your gameplay. Now, today, we're breaking out a high kill solos game here from that boy. He's going to land how to control immediately go for the weapon training station which gives him a p90 and that pretty much just allows him to immediately challenge enemies he feels confident watch him on ads right here notice that little on ads allows him to track that enemy a little bit easier this is something that i really want you to continue working on is that little on ads right there allows him to track that enemy then he re ads is in once he's tracked back on that guy now the one thing i do want to highlight about that boy that boy was a 0.8 kd player when he started he's now a two and a half kd player and he's been following my tips for a very long time now now, and it's really helped him improve especially you know in terms of winning his gunfights and his gameplay strategy but we can always keep getting better and that's what we're, what we're going to do today now right here i just talked about how he does a really good job of un adsing and then tracking well he does not do a good job of that here and watch how much harder of a kill it is see how he can't just quite get this enemy he can't quite recenter his crosshairs and look at his crosshairs by the way his crosshair like right that's the dot of his reticle that's aim assist but he still can't quite get on this guy that's one where yes he 100 percent should un ads and then re ads as always guys if you're a console player commit to that hip fire because the guy's going to be taking up a lot of your screen uh i just kind of going off what i said if you are looking to get better rebirth fortunes keep and of course modern warfare 2 and warzone 2 as we head into those make sure you are subscribed down below i'm going to be doing a lot of tip videos and gameplay breakdowns trying just to help you improve as a player that's my whole goal went from a 0.8 uh, 0.7 to a 4 kd player now he's going to go ahead and push up right here and i want to talk about this next scenario a little bit he does a good job of clearing it in anticipating it uses the uav now watch this one movement right here this is what i one thing that i want you to work on look at where his crosshairs are now there could be an enemy right at the top of this stairwell and if there is he's gonna end up dying here because he's not gonna he's gonna have to really make a move in order to get this kill so i want him to be centering around all of these corners especially with anticipation it doesn't take a whole lot to expect an enemy to be right there to be right in this back corner like notice he's caught with his crosshairs not out right here and if there's a guy in this corner there's not a whole lot he can do so all that is is timing once again if he just centered a little bit higher he'd be okay that second one was better that one's a little bit better and now watch this next play because this is exactly what i'm talking about he doesn't anticipate with intent here which is why he gets caught in a bad spot as he turns this corner he has his crosshairs out but he's not actually expecting anybody to be here even though he does kind of get an audio cue that there's somebody in the stairs and it forces him to make a play now he gets the kill he is a little bit concerned about other people around which i probably would have looted that guy but he does not loot that guy so all of a sudden we look at this next scenario where he's going to loot that he's going to get to this guy right here and all of these things add up to him going down which by the way he's going to drop a very high kill game here so it's not the end all you know it's not the worst scenario but because of of how this whole situation plays out that's why he gets caught in a bad spot if he doesn't take a ton of damage right here he can then challenge that enemy if he loots that guy for plates real quick then he's in a better spot to be able to finesse this guy and by the way when it comes to that boy you know he's a two and a half kd player he executes really well when he catches this enemy and gets caught in a bad spot my play is either right or left i'd probably go left here i'd probably push behind this door and set up the reach out first step of a reach out is to break the line of sight so that it keeps your enemy guessing step number two is going to be basically to slide cancel or jump peek that so that you can break that camera creating that window to get the down so he ends up just trying to get away here he gets caught in a little bit of a weird scenario and that guy makes a good play you can see how quick he reacts and he hits really good shots here with the armagera but Technically speaking, in this moment, you know, this guy has about a plate to a plate and a half advantage. It's a winnable gunfight. He just, he, there's not a whole lot he can do. Besides, he probably could have set up the reach out. Now he's back in. He's going to go back into control. Like I said, guys, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. And, you know, if you wouldn't mind hitting that thumbs up button, that would mean a lot. If you, you know, if you find this video at all helpful, that just helps the video a ton. So he's going to go in. He's got dots over to the right. One of the biggest things in solos is just paying attention to where enemies are shooting. But of course, he knows that there's people here in control. Really good job in this moment. This is something that a lot of you struggle with. You know, he's got the growl. 
he obviously is he's playing aggressive here which he always does but he hears this guy now instead of waiting for this guy to push him he's gonna push through and then it's they kind of collided so they both have to make a move he's able to hit high damage areas right there chest shots headshots he's able to win that gunfight and now he's got the armagera now he's in a really good spot he's got plates four kills 34 other people still alive he knows they're shooting over here good shots right there can he get the down he gets the thirst we don't have downs in solos, especially, or, you know, basically only in the beginning. I love solos, by the way. Of course, you know, we'll see what happens when the new Warzone comes out. I'm guessing there's going to be a solos mode, but there's not going to be Rebirth or Fortune's Keep. Really good job, once again, guys, anticipating around this corner. You know, watch how he challenges here. He's ready for this guy. Notice the difference between that one and the earlier one. You know, he's completely, and this is something a lot of you struggle with, is not anticipating with intent. Not only does he, he basically says to that guy, like, I know you're here and there's nothing you can do about it that's where we start to really take less damage in 50 50s when it's that combination of execution on top of that anticipation and of course that anticipation comes from information that's where i always say confidence comes from information and execution now you know just again really good job executing right here he's constantly out in and out of that ads right that's something that when you practice i'll put the build down in the comments below for you as well when i do my warm-up i actually use a very specific mp5 build that mp5 build is a good mix of mobility ttk and of course you know being able to hit fire as well really allowed me to practice that the basically the thought oh that guy's oops that's not good where'd this guy come from Oh, he got killed by... Oh, that guy flew in. That's super unfortunate. I did not know he got executed right there. Um, that basically just helped me practice that. And you have to force yourself to do it in warm-up. But when you force yourself to do it in the warm-up, it then becomes easier right here. Now, he's very aggressive in this moment. Like, not something that I would do is kind of full send my stuff again. Because I know that there's people around here. But, look, he's going to be able to get himself out of it. He hears shooting above so he can anticipate. Now... In this moment, like, play your levels, right? So, they're, this guy's n clearly not on the second floor. So, he's got to be on the third floor or on roof. So, as he pushes around this corner... Oh, my gosh. There's so many people here. Good job. Oh, my gosh. There's just so many. There's so many. Eh, he just can't get out of there. I probably would have run away expecting this guy to push. Like, I think you got to... I think you got to do it. You got to make some move here. That's so tough, though, because he kind of can't get out of it. There's no angle for him to go because if he pushes right, like if he tries to push back this way, you can see my mouse like this way and push in. I think this guy has a pretty good angle to kill that kill him. So that's a really tough spot. I Maybe you take out the XM4 here. That's probably the play is to back off a little bit. Take out the XM4 and see if you can switch and basically kill him before he kills you because you guys are both like super low health. Tough scenario, but he's back in. You know, he's right now, guys, by the way, if you were to really break this down, he's died three times. I think he's died three times at this point. He's nine and three. That's a three KD right there. We'll take that. And like I said, again, he's going to drop a, a very high kill, 20 plus kill win right here. So he's going to go in and keep pushing back on still playing aggressive. Look, that is something that is something that is tough to to take out of a player. There are certain times where you do need to slow down and just regain a little bit, especially in, in solos, right? Because in solos, you can especially in any game mode, really, you can go on a good shots right there. You can go on a run at any point in time. You can easily knock off four five, six, seven kills. And all of a sudden, you really put a good game together, even if you've died a few times in the beginning. But that's only possible if you are staying alive. I think the other day, I had a game where I started off like 5-5. Five and five, And maybe I finished like 15-5 and five or something like that. And I just, you know, just started executing, getting that momentum back. Which is something we can really talk about a little bit. Now, right here, he definitely needs to probably rotate out. This is a situation I really want to talk about. You know, he sees this guy right here. He does a really good job keeping his element of surprise because that enemy does not know that that boy's here. My issue with this play is when he pushes through, he does, he anticipates the wrong way, right? So, like, he needs to anticipate this first guy. He reacts, but all of a sudden, like, that's just a minor thing where he gets away with it here, but he may not get away with it in another scenario. He's just got to anticipate that guy left. And now he's going to go ahead. There's another one back here, which I was surprised because I thought the other guy had died. But he sees the sniper right here. As soon as you see the sniper, guys, you got to use movement. I don't care if you jump, if you strafe, but like you can, you got to make it hard for him to hit that headshot. He's just waiting. This guy's caught out in the open, so he's got to move. 
Like, he's got to move at some point. There's nowhere that he can go unless he pushes up to the truck. But even then, that boy still has that advantage. He's going to grab the Marco right here. I don't know what just happened. He just switched a lot of guns. Right here, just misses some shots, but he's able to get that kill. All of a sudden, he's got 13 kills, right? So we're really piecing this game together. And when you look at your overall KD, I don't tell you to look at your KD. Really good play right here, by the way. Has to make a move. Just has to make a move. He does the jump move to the right, the jump straight. That changes your vertical and your horizontal. If the guy really tracks you horizontal-wise, he, of course, is only hitting your toes. And it just makes you a really hard target to hit. Also increases your aim assist. So, shoot a little body right there. They've been going at it for a while now. So, um, I don't remember what I was saying before this. I don't remember. Oh, don't focus on your overall KD. Focus on your weekly KD. You know, just focus on improving. Focus on your season KD. Good shot right there with the sniper. Because, look, once you get to a certain point, it's going to be hard to move your, your overall KD just because of how many kills that you have. So while you can focus on that, you know, if you are a .8 KD overall, but weekly or even for the season, you're playing at a 1.2 or 1.3. Like, that's still a lot of improvement right there. And we need to take note of that. 16 kills, 19 other people still alive. Now, in this moment right here, there's a lot of different ways that you can go. Of course, one thing that I would recommend, guys, is, is grab having bounty contracts especially in solos where you're only or you know even as you're getting more aggressive and you're only responsible for your cash flow because your teammates aren't around you like you need to be grabbing contracts that gives you information of course gives you contract bonus as well gives you the cash now in this moment not really totally sure where anybody is we know somebody's over at control but not exactly sure where i'm just going to simply go act on this piece of information right here we've got a dot on our level in grandma's house that is concrete we know he's over there we know there's at least two enemies over there at the moment Moment, assuming they don't kill each other so i'm just gonna go push that way and act on that information as opposed to like trying to find the guy at control of course in prison we can use audio don't rely on footsteps don't rely on like super it, directional audio is not super reliable is what i'm trying to say so use it to understand that somebody's around you but don't think like because you hear it left and above you that the guy's actually left and above you audio is just it's chalked it's just not good. This is a really good example. Once again, acting on minimap pings. He hears the shooting happening. What do you know? This is exa exactly what I tell you all the time. When you hear shooting, it's going to mean that there are multiple enemies there. It's not just one. So you get the dot in the lobby. But sure enough, there's the other dot right there. And what do we run into? This is solos, baby. We've got four people in prison right now. That boy's going to take out one. He's going to immediately challenge the second one. Now, there's still one more, potentially. We aren't totally sure, but you got to keep that in mind. That's one thing I would say right here for that boy is you don't know if that third guy, you don't know if that original guy in the lobby right here died. Now, the other thing I'll say is he gets caught a little bit right here, but he does a really good job of making a move, right? They're both sliding at each other, so he's going to jump to the left and kind of track that enemy. All of a sudden, now he's got a slight advantage here. This guy's broken. That boy's not. He's able to win that gunfight, and that's where we always talk about using movement to take less damage. Aim is what allows you to give you a faster TTK and really, you know, just allows you to win the gunfight, allows you to take less damage. But movement is really when we start to focus on, okay, how do we take less damage so that we can stay in fight, so that we can keep challenging, so that we can deal with that third party that's coming in solos? You know, it's really about giving yourself the fastest TTK and using basic movement, uh, strafing left and right, jumping a little bit, you know, maybe a drop shot here or there. Really good job, guys, right here. Watch the hip fire. Just commit. Just commit, and then as he opens up his FOV, I know he has FOV, but as he opens up that camera frame even more, especially for my console players, you want to work on strafing backwards so that you can open up your FOV. He hit fires, and now once he gets to a point where he can easily track this enemy, now he's going to go ahead and ADS. He's in a really good spot right here. 19 kills, by the way. Look at this nice little run that he's on in terms of momentum. Got off to an okay start, right? Eight and three, nine and three. A lot of you get frustrated because you died three times. All of a sudden, he's what, 19? and three at this point like uh, a lot of you would be very happy with that so don't always lose full in those first early game scenarios if you end up in the blender because you can always regain especially once you get that loadout and you can really get that momentum $3,800 he knows I think he knows there's multi he should know that there's multiple in here I might have saw multiple I'm not totally sure good job right here go ahead and, and think ahead yep don't don't chase good job Notice how he, he doesn't quite get this guy, but watch how he, he thinks ahead, right? He thinks about where this guy is potentially going to instead of just chasing. When you chase, you get caught, especially with sweaty players, potential for a rechallenge, right? That's what I'm looking for, as we talked about earlier with that scenario where that boy should have rechallenged was the moment I break that line of sight, I can use movement to then, good job thinking ahead right here. Notice he doesn't chase. He's thinking ahead. Can he get the kill? Now he's chasing. Yup. 
that's exactly what happens when you chase. So if you're going to chase, make sure you are anticipating. Short, choppy slide cancels, you know, so that you don't get out. Yeah, he gets caught a little bit right there with the stim because he was going to go try to catch up to him. But, and, and look, he wins that gunfight. The only thing that I take note of here is if there's a third party around, if we're playing trios, quads, or even, you know, duos, he can't immediately challenge that next enemy without having to perfectly execute. So just something we want to keep in mind there. Uh, he missed the UAV, which I would love to see him grab, right? Allows him to make that quick decision and understand how many people are around where's the hot area of the map to keep dropping high the high kill games and keep that momentum going is there a third party around me you you know all of those things that really factor in also grab big game bounty really good job right there i don't quote me on this i don't fully understand big game bounties i think that there's only one big game bounty live at a time so you know Big game bounty goes to the kill leader. I'm guessing that boy's the kill leader here. But because he grabs big game bounty, I don't think somebody can then grab it on you. I don't fully understand how that works. I'm going to be totally honest with you. But grab big game bounties. It's especially because if you get the kill, not only do you get cash, you get information as well. Let's see what he can find here. Doesn't have a ton of information. Oh, give it to me, baby. Good headshot right there. Good headshot. Makes a little bit of an adjustment right there. That's that's $6,100. So immediately I notice, okay, let's go buy let's go buy a UAV. You know, biggest thing, another big thing that I want you to work on is not only getting cash, but spending cash. Grabbing contracts, making sure you're looting enemies to grab their cash. But once you have enough, you got to be spending it. A lot of you are really improving on getting that cash flow, making sure you have it, but you're not actually spending it, which means, good shot. That guy was clueless. I mean, he wasn't clueless. He was shooting at somebody else. Go, gay. Oh, let's go. Oh, baby. The back-to-back -back snipes. He's a good sniper, by the way. He is. 24 kills. He's got eight other... Has he not grabbed loadout? I guess he hasn't. I guess he is still rocking what other people were using. Um, just, just make sure you're spending cash. You know, especially in duos, trios, and quads. Be the team leader. You know, don't be rude about it. But, you know, ask your teammates for cash. Ask your teammates if they can buy a UAV. Make sure they are spending that money for you. Because it really helps the whole entire team. It, it's not something that just helps one person. You know, it really helps everybody. He's got a precision. I'm okay with this precision right here. Usually, I recommend not using a precision unless you get it down. But in this case, I think water towers are a great spot to use a precision because they have to jump. The only thing I would recommend is when he sees these guys flying in, like he sees one, he sees the second, like these guys probably aren't going to move. So wait till you get to a position where you can actually challenge that enemy. Like he, he precisions, which is going to force that guy to jump off, which is a great thing, except the guy jumps and that boy's not, he can't even, he can't one shot this guy even if he wanted to because of the range. So get to a spot where you can challenge and then call it in. And then you just kind of wait. Oh, you got a kill right there. Why does that always happen to me? It always happens. I always tell you guys not to do that because very rarely does it actually work out where you get a kill. And then sure enough, every single time that I say that, that's exactly how it plays out. Now, most important thing to note right here, when you look at how many enemies are left, right? He's got 25 kills, by the way. Really good game. He's got five other enemies. So he's number six. He's got five other enemies. We have three of them on radar, which means we're missing two, right? That's just basic math that you need to be doing throughout the game, or especially in end game of like, okay, I know there's three people. I know exactly where those are, but I'm still missing two players who went down for the operation scan, and we need to essentially find them. There's one enemy that's on the operation scan. So, you know, that's just, especially in trios and quads, trying to keep track of where teams are, like full teams, right? I, okay, two teams are fighting in, two teams are fighting in decon. One guy was in prison earlier. One team was in prison. Okay, that's exactly where everybody is because that's going to help you make that decision about where you want to be positioned. It's going to keep in mind that third party, especially as circle closes. So that's one of the biggest takeaways from today's video that I want you to get is keep in mind where a lot of enemies are. And also don't forget information. You know, he does a good job here. Unfortunately, that's outside car 98 range the one shot range you know he does a good job here of remembering where people are now he's in a really good spot right here he's got power position back up three things you got to be in circle you need cover and then you need power position so right here he's in a really good spot because the circle's most likely to pull somewhere this way and this team is just kind of stuck down the hill so he's got his high ground but the most important thing is he has his cover now he's going to give up his high ground to go push this guy which i'm okay with like i said that boy is an aggressive player you don't have to oh i didn't realize he didn't have plates either you don't have to make this play you can simply play your positioning play a little bit slower make sure we clutch the dub by the way we've got three other enemies left at this point so he knows one's ahead of him he knows one's over to his left over at the shore so now we just got to find one more enemy 
He's got to find this one first, but he knows there's two over to his... Well, he knows there's at least one over to his left. Never assume it's two. Good shots right there. Little bit of movement. Little bit of movement. There's the plate. He should grab the... He should grab that. He should loot that just to see if he can get an extra plate. He should loot the one to his left just to see if he can get a plate. That's where I talk about slow down to speed up, right? Just just slowing down a touch. Just just looting those two crates. If you get two plates, it's only going to help you that much more. And the last thing you would want is to lose a game because you, you just didn't have plates, right? When we had the opportunity to get them. Yeah, you see that guy. Boom. Hit it. Give it to me. Boom. Hit it. Okay. That's okay. Good reposition. Great reposition right there. And, and notice that boy anticipates, right? He anticipates this guy to be in the same spot. And that guy's looking through the scope to see, okay, is that boy going to re-challenge? The moment that boy peeks through this window, that guy has no chance. That guy, th that guy's not going to have a chance to get that shot off before that boy does. So then that boy just has to execute. 27 kills. 1v1 situation for the dub. Doesn't exactly know where he is. Doesn't exactly know where he is. Not 100% sure. Although, like, I'm kind of with him that I would anticipate him being over to the right. But never assume. Did he hear him? Yeah, he heard him. Yep. Good job here. Yep. Really good job there. He's not going to chase. He's going to think ahead. Right? He hears him pushing up the stairs. So, instead of chasing right here, he's going to think ahead. Little bit of hip fire. There's the ADS. But still very close to losing that gunfight. But... We will take the dub. Almost doesn't count in this game as long as you win the gunfight. 28 kills. That's a nice little dub right there. I hope you found today's video helpful. As I always say, let's get better today, and I will see you tomorrow.